Hey guys, what is up? It's Cornif here, and welcome to this new episode of Max Cape in Motion. Now, guys, it's episode 5, and I hope you enjoy. So, this week I've done a fair amount since I've come back from my bit of a holiday. And as you can see on screen right now, I have actually um, been doing a little bit of things relating to uh, more a bit of a comp cape rather than max cape. This is one of the requirements for getting comp cape, which I haven't actually completed yet. I know some people will probably laugh at that, but I hadn't actually completed the fight kiln, which is pretty crazy, and it was ridiculously easy, so there you go, you can see there, I just defeated the boss, which is extremely easy, so guys, if you haven't done this and you want a good cape for your uh, sort of melee combat, I do recommend doing this, or even if you're just sort of a bit worried about getting that comp uh, sort of requirement finished, I don't think you really need to worry about that at all, as it is ridiculously easy. Uh, anyway guys, other than that, I did that uh, really early on, pretty much when I just got back, I thought I'd try that out. I decided to do a bit of fishing, and as you can see right there, I was doing my preferred method of getting my fishing up when I was level 88, I think I started with at the start of this week, which was quite good. I have managed to get quite a lot of fishing XP in total this whole entire week, which is absolutely awesome. I've managed to pick up a whole load of levels, and you'll see that in the next uh, Road to Max Cape video. Now guys, I do have a clip later which will sort of spoil the amount that I have actually gained to some extent extent anyway but hopefully it'll still be a bit of a surprise the total amount of XP that I've managed to pick up over this whole week so as you can see right here I am doing a bit of C2 fishing which I really do enjoy and I did have a bit of bonus experience which did make it a whole lot uh, sort of quicker I didn't um, really pick up the max amount of XP you could per hour as I do know you can get something around um, 100k or so if you do have a higher fishing level even though I did have under 90 I was still getting around 180k with that uh, sort of double XP so that's quite good XP per hour if you're just doing this with level 80 or so fishing uh, without your double XP which is really good I definitely do recommend using your C2 fishing to level up until you can probably do some rock tails even so after rock tails it's really good XP and it's definitely a lot quicker XP if you want to be doing your C2 fishing rather than fishing your rock tails now guys, as in terms of sort of how long it took me to get from 88 to 90, which was my goal for doing the C2 fishing, it did take me, I'd say I did this over three days or so, which I did actually have uni a, f a couple of days while I was doing this, so I wasn't doing it sort of max efficiency as hard as I possibly could, so I was doing it for a couple of hours each day and probably a total of about nine or so hours of C2 fishing, which was quite good as I was sort of AFKing a lot um, during that duration of nine hours or so, which was quite good. I didn't actually manage to finish all my coursework that I needed to do as well as getting this 90 fishing, which was really uh, the main point of this video. I did want to be getting my fishing level up, which also meant that I would be 90 plus after I did reach that. Um, and I did actually manage to get 90 plus during the week sometime, which was really good. And you'll see that in my next Road to Max Cape video as well. As well as some fishing, I have actually been trying out some dwarf traders, which I don't have any... Um, footage of that actually because it's quite boring to watch sort of just me clicking on the screen which is really that's all it is it's absolutely awesome XP and a bit AFK but it's not sort of uh, anything like rock tails which I have actually tried out now which is really good but um yeah dwarf traders a really good XP I'm pretty sure that the XP rates you can actually manage to pick up with a higher level is around 100 to 200k or something like that but I'm not picking up uh, that amount of XP with my lower sort of thieving level which I did start on 90 this week which I was just trying it out but I do actually really enjoy it you can just turn on your mouse keys which allows you to use your number pad to click the mouse which is number 5 you can just turn that on and continuously click uh, number 5 to click your mouse on the same spot on the screen now this pretty much just works as long as your character doesn't move off the spot but depending on if someone um, accidentally puts a familiar uh, or uh, one of the other traders walks on top of the spot that you're sort of spam clicking on which can get a little bit tedious if you're trying to AFK a little bit but pretty much when I do this I'm just sort of wanting to relax a little bit so I'm just watching a movie or something like that and that allows me to sort of not have to worry about even if I do click off and just click quickly back on and continue getting my XP but this is not really a thing that you can do uh, as terms of sort of rock towers with AFK, you can't really do a bit of schoolwork with sort of getting uh, max efficiency with the other skills and all that sort of thing. So definitely, guys, if you do want a skill to AFK and you don't like thieving um, at Pyramid Plunder, I definitely do recommend 
picking up 90 thieving and then moving on to dwarf traders which you can just use to afk a bit as well as watching some movies or whatever else really you can even watch some youtube videos which i do a whole lot definitely do like um watching all the behind the scenes things and a lot of um sort of podcasts from one of the, some of the bigger youtubers which is always good to do so i definitely do recommend watching a few of those while you do your uh thieving training Hey guys, here we are at um, Living Rock Caverns. Hope you are enjoying this video. Now guys, I'm just going to be doing a bit of uh, AFK Rock Tales while I just talk about a few things uh, to do with my Maxscape and all that sort of thing. So hopefully you do enjoy this sort of portion of the video. Um, yeah, it's really good. I definitely do uh, really recommend doing some Rock Tales if you do get your 90 fishing. Now the XP rates aren't that good and I'm doing this currently in-game as well. Guys, I actually pre-recorded this little bit of footage so I didn't want to be sort of um, missing any sort of ticks in-game for the actual video. So it made it look like I was getting the XP rates as you can see at the top right I do have the XP count on the fishing XP that I've gained for today which is really good I've actually managed to gain a couple of levels not too many but I'm getting close to my, picking up my other one which is really good I'll hopefully get that in the next hour or so which would be really good to see Anyway guys, other than fishing, which I really want to be talking about is some of the other 99s that I'm going to be aiming for and potentially what I'm going to be doing with the remainder of my 99s, which is 7. I do have 7 left and I'll quickly go through um, exactly what I've got left. So I do have uh, rune crafting, divination, hunter, thieving, agility, fishing and also wood cutting. So they're the, all the 99s I do have left until I reach my max cape. Now I do want to be asking you a question right now. Would you like to see me get all seven of those 99s at the same time? Would that be something you'd want to be seeing? Because I can definitely sort of get that done, get them all to 98, then pull them all into the range that I can actually get them at the same time. And sort of have like a, a bit of a party, a massive party, getting all those 799s and also finishing off my max cape, which would be, I think would be quite cool. I'm not too sure what you guys are thinking about that sort of idea. Definitely do comment down below about your thoughts on that sort of um, idea that I have had. I'm not too sure if I'll be able to do that um, anytime soon. I'm not too sure how much time I'll have to play exactly over the next month or two, which I do have uni. But after I do finish this semester of uni, which is another 11 weeks since posting this video, should hopefully be um, quite good to get some more holidays. I'm also really missing the holidays as well because I've actually had to wake up uh, a whole lot earlier than normal but guys uh, anyway after that so 11 weeks I'll be finished and back onto some holidays which I'll be able to grind out my XP and hopefully pick up that max cape sometime soon after that so guys please do comment down below about that idea if you do have any other sort of ideas that might work to acquire my max cape or any sort of uh, combinations of 99s you want to be getting maybe if you want to see um, something like rune crafting and divination together as they're sort of the same skill definitely do post that down below if you'd want to see that or if you want to see a number of 99s together also post down that down below anyway guys i really made some good progress with uh getting some levels and all that this week so i'll definitely be able to put up a road to max cape episode hopefully sometime during the week next week which will be really good to see i have actually i think got coming on 15 clips for levels so that means 15 total levels since my last uh, road to max cape video which is really good to see i'm actually making a huge amount of progress getting up there quite high and i've also got about 40 or so levels i do have to gain until i can reach my max cape so it'll be really good to see anyway guys i do hope you enjoyed this video hope you did enjoy my bit of a rambling commentary about all my skills and that sort of thing please do comment down below about the question i just asked you before and anyway guys until next time please do drop some likes uh, on the video it's really good to see and anyway guys later